Okay. Ngayon, ang pag-uusapin naman natin is the property of the algebra inverse. So, the method of drawing the curves by point plotting is a long and tedious process. And to give a fairly good approximation of some portion of the curve, the general appearance of the curve may be developed simply by examining and interpreting certain of its properties. So some of the properties um, that we will study are the intercepts. So, pag-uusapan natin yung intercepts. Sa intercepts, so meron tayong x-intercepts at saka meron tayong y-intercepts. So usually, itong mga x-intercepts na to ay dinidenote natin as A, C, or other number, other letters rather. And palagi si y-intercept yung B yung gamit natin dyan. Kasi from the equation y is equal to mx plus b, diba? so this m here is the slope, this b here stands for the y-intercept. And of course, pag-uusapan din natin dito yung symmetry. And then, we are also going to talk about the scope. Asan lang ba nag exist yung function natin? And of course, we will be talking about the asymptotes. Okay, so si asymptotes, so we have the vertical asymptotes. We have the horizontal asymptote. Some of the functions has the diagonal asymptote if our function is 1 degree higher, no, yung numerator than the denominator, so lumalabas yung diagonal asymptote. And yung mga higher order na, let's say, mas mataas na yung degree ng exponent sa numerator, no, compared to denominator, so magkakaroon tayo ng curve in your asymptote. Pero hindi na natin so. Okay? So, if we have this, So, kung ito yung coordinate system natin. So, yan yung coordinate system natin. Let's say, yung graph natin ay tumawid dito. Tapos, bumaba siya dyan. Siya so, ito, yung portion na to. Now, let's say that A with the coordinate of A comma 0. And then in here, at point B, this is the coordinate of 0, comma B. And then in here, the point C has the coordinate of C, comma 0. And in here, sa so point B, it has the coordinate of D, comma 0. So, if this function is the function of X, no. So this B here is your Y intercept. This E here, the C and the D ay yung mga tinatawag natin X intercepts. Okay, so let's try yung mga examples para dito. Ang pag-uusapan muna natin dito, intercepts muna. Okay, so we are asked to find the intercepts of the curve y is equal to x cubed minus 6x squared plus 3x plus 10. So the first thing that we are going to do is to find the factors. Ano ba yung factors natin? So in determining the factors, malaki yung ginagampan ng papel itong constant na to, na 10. Kasi siya yung magdedetermine ng factors. So, ano ba yung mga numbers na ipag multiply natin ay magkakaroon tayo ng 10. No? So, that's 2 times 5 
negative 2 times negative 5, we have 10 times 1, we have negative 10 times negative 1. At isa, no, sa apat na to ang magpapababa sa equation natin. So, mamimili tayo. So, this is um, trial and error no? na gagawin natin. So, mamili muna tayo. Which one? So, let's say, ito muna. Ito muna. Positive 2. So, if we are going to try the positive 2, uh, using the synthetic division, you have here positive 2. Tapos, kukunin lang natin yung mga coefficients nito. So, you have here 1 for the x cube. You have negative 6 for the x square. And you have 3 for the x. And you have 10 for the constant. So, that would be 1 times 2. So, that's 2. 6. No, negative 6 plus 2. So, that's negative 4. And then... Negative 4 times 2, so that's negative 8. 3 plus negative 8, that's negative 5. And 2 times negative 5, that's negative 10. 10 plus negative 10, so that's 0. Ibig sabihin, this 2 here is a factor kasi ang wala tayong remainder. No? 0 yung dulo natin. So therefore, we can say that if x is equal to 2, no, kasi yan ay root no, ng function natin, then we can say that this is x minus 2 is equal to 0 is a factor. No? Ito yung isa sa factor natin. Galing po yan dito. No, nilipat lang natin sa left side of the equation. Now, galing sa sagot, since we have here x cubed divided by x, so x squared tayo dito, minus 4x minus 5. So, ito yung isang factor. So, we have here y is equal to ito yung kanina, that's x minus 2, multiplied by this, that's x squared minus 4x minus 5. Tapos, ito na naman yung ipa-factor out natin. So, by factoring that out, ito yung magsisilbi naman, no, na determinant natin, no? So, that's negative 5. Ano yung mga factors ng negative 5? So, we have here 5 times negative 1 or negative 5 times positive 1. Pero, kapag inad natin, tingnan natin ha, pag i natin, 5 plus negative 1, that's positive 4. Negative 5 plus 1, that's negative 4. Kung titingnan natin, dapat yung sum ay ito yung second, no? second term. So, ang sum ay ito. Since ito yung sum, meaning ito yung tamang sagot natin. Kasi pag pinag-multiply natin, negative 5 yung sagot dyan. Pag pinag-add natin, negative 4 yung sagot dyan. Okay? So, from this, we can say that if this is x is equal to negative 5, then, ang factor natin is x plus 5 is equal to 0. And for this, you have x is equal to 1, then x minus 1 is equal to 0. So, yung mga factors natin ay ito, x minus 2 is equal to 0, yan, at saka to, at saka to. No? So, meaning, you have y is equal to x minus 2 times x plus 5 times x minus 1. Na? So, galing sa mga to, madidetermina natin yung mga intercepts natin. Na? So, actually, ito, yan. So, x is equal to 2, galing dyan. Intercept yan. Tapos, ito, yung x is equal to negative 5, at saka x is equal to 1. So, for the x-intercepts, ilitan ko ng konti. For the x-intercept, you have a is equal to ito. You have, eh, hindi natin gagamitin yung b kasi kay, kay y yun. Sa c, so you have here, negative 5. And for d, you have here, 
1. No? So, ito yung sagot natin para kay x intercept For the y-intercept naman, no? makukuha lang natin yung y-intercept if we are going to assume that x is equal to 0. So, if x is equal to 0, magiging 0 lang lahat ng x no? from our equation. So, magiging 0 lang lahat ng mga to. Meaning, ito, yung 10, yun yung y-intercept natin. So, for the y-intercept, your b is equal to 10. Okay? So, for the sake of the discussion, ay i-graph natin. No? Tingnan natin yung magiging itsura nito. Pero, syempre, liitan ko ng konti. Masyado kasi malaki itong ano. I-crop ko na lang ito. Yan. Pukuha ko ng bago yung screenshot. Kakadulin masyado yung maliit. So, we have positive 2. So, ito. Positive 2. Lakihan pa natin. Okay. So, we have here positive 2. Tapos, negative 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Ayan. And then, we have positive 1. And we have B positive 10. Andito siya. Ayan. So, from this, ito yung gagawin natin. Hindi kasi natin alam kung ano yung magiging itsura nito. So, itong technique na to, na ituturo ko ngayon, ay tinuro to nung teacher namin dati sa Analytic Geometry Web Calculus. No? Uh, at yun daw ay natutunan niya lang din galing doon sa isang tinututor niya. So, hindi ito ginagamit ng ibang teacher maliban sa kabatch namin kasi kami na natutunan ito. So, anong gagawin? Kukunin natin yung mga factors. We have x minus 2, you have x plus 5, and you have x minus 1. Tapos, you have here the y, yung product ng tatlo. Tapos, ang gagawin natin ay ayan. Hahanapin natin yung mga intercepts. So, you have 1, 2 na lang dito para hindi siksitan. And then, here, you have 1. Tapos, yung isang intercept natin ay negative 5. Okay? So, makikita natin dito Ito, si x minus 2, magsisiro siya dito if x is equal to 2. Ngayon, pag nag-substitute ka ng value dito kay x na mas malaki kaysa sa 2, no, magiging positive yung sagot. Halimbawa, 3. So, 3 minus 2, that's positive. 1. Uh, let's say 5. So, positive yung sagot doon. Ibig sabihin, kapag nag-substitute ka ng mas malaking number to the right, positive yung sagot. At pag nag-substitute ka ng number na mas maliit, let's say 1, no, ang sagot ay magiging negative. So, ibig sabihin, 0 siya sa 2, positive siya sa kanan, negative siya sa kaliwa. Okay? So, kay 5 tayo. Dito kay 5, so si 0 siya dyan. Mas malaking number ay magbibigay sa'yo ng positive na sagot. So, positive sa kanan, negative sa kaliwa. Hindi lahat ng case ay positive sa kanan, negative sa kaliwa ha? kasi depende ito doon sa may factor natin. Kasi let's say you have 2 minus x. Ito, baliktad yan. Mas malaking number, negative naman. No? Ang maging itsura niyan, 0 siya, negative sa kanan, positive naman yung kaliwa. Kasi habang lumalaki yung number, nagiging negative yung sabi natin. Okay. Si 1, no? si x minus 1 ay magsisiro dito kay 1. Ngayon, positive yung kanan, negative yung kaliwa. Since itong tatlong to ay minumultiply lang natin, imumultiply lang din natin yung mga signs. So, negative times negative times negative. So, this is negative. Then, of course, negative times zero, ito is zero. Tapos, negative times negative times positive is positive. Tapos, zero tayo dito. Tapos, dito, negative times positive positive, that's negative, zero tayo dyan. Tapos, you have positive, 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 it's positive. Okay. Ngayon, anong implication nito? 
sa pagitan ng 5 at saka ng 1, positive siya. Sorry. Sa pagitan ng 5 at 1, positive yan. So, ibig sabihin, kapag tinonet natin to, ito, ayan o, oh, galing ng 1 papuntang 5, positive siya. Yung mga points natin, ayan, positive sila. Tapos, from 0 pa lang to ha, 0 pa lang to, tapos, ang 1, ito pa yung 1, no? Okay, bababa siya doon. Positive yung mga sagot natin dyan, yung mga y. No? As you can see, galing dito, papunta doon, so, positive siya. But, gandahan natin ng konti. Kasi, maybe, since this is intercept, hindi yan yung highest point. So, maybe the highest point is right here. Yan. Tapos bago na siya bumaba doon. No? We don't know yet kung ano yung value ng highest point. At itong value ng highest point na to ay isasagutin naman nung differential equation. Na kapag kinunan natin, eh, differential calculus rather, na kapag kinunan natin to ng first derivative, kung saan magsisiro yung first derivative, doon natin makikita yung minima maxima. So, yun naman yung trabaho nun. Okay? So, after nun, kung makikita natin, From negative 5, negative na siya, pakaliwa. So, ibig sabihin, hanggang sa negative infinity ay tuloy-tuloy na siya na negative doon. Tapos, sa pagitan ng 1 and 2, negative siya doon. So, negative siya. Nasa ilalim yung graph natin dyan. Pagkatapos, positive, ibig sabihin, aakyat na siya ulit dito. Okay? So, this graph here is the graph for the function y is equal to x cubed. Minus 6x plus 3x plus 10. So, what if hingian tayo ng coordinate? The x-intercept that 2 comma 0, negative 5 comma 0, you have 1 comma 0. And for the y-intercept naman, you have 0 comma 10. Okay? So, ito yung mga hinihingin sa mga natin. Actually, isa pa lang to sa mga elements no, ng algebraic curve na pinag-uusapan na.